Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Igor Kurnosov and Marat Dumayev. This game was played in Uzbekistan in 2008. Igor Kurnosov had white pieces and he started with e4. Marat Dumayev played d6, d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, g6, player with black pieces is playing the pirt defense, bishop to g5, knight from b to d7, queen to d2, intending to castle queenside, a6, preparing b5. Kunoso castled queenside, not afraid of the pawn storm. b5, threatening b4, and then after the knight moves, knight takes on e4. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? You can prevent b4 by playing a3. This is not the best move, is it? Kunoso played the best move. e5, attacking the knight. b4, attacking the knight on c3. Pawn takes knight on f6. b takes on c3, attacking the queen. Queen takes on c3. Black to move. E6 was played. Of course, player with black pieces consider this continuation. Knight takes on f6, but then after bishop takes on f6, he didn't see bishop to h6 probably. He saw e takes on f6, and then check, and after bishop to e7, queen to f3. White is standing better. Okay, back to our game. So, player with black pieces played e6. But now, the white pawn on f6 is like a thorn in the eye. White to move. Rook to e1, lining the rook with the black king. How important is that? It is very important. Knight to b6. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Best move for white is d5. This is a difficult position. Player with black pieces was searching for a good move and couldn't find it. So he played knight to a4. Could be worse. If knight takes on d5, queen to c6 check, and after bishop to d7, queen takes on d5. The pawn on a6 is pinned. So we have knight to a4, queen to c6 check, Player with black pieces was not worried. He had bishop to d7, defending everything. Maybe. White move. Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find queen to c4? Not a bad move, but nothing special. The move in the game was rook takes on e6 check. Black to move. Pawn takes rook. What else? What was the idea behind the rook sacrifice? Can you see the idea? What would you do now? Would you look for a safe spot for the queen? Or maybe there is another move that you would play. Please pause again and find the best move for white. So when Igor Kurnosov sacrificed the rook, he already knew what he had to do in this position. And the move is... D takes on e6. Black is lost. Bishop to g7 was played. Could be worse. If bishop takes on c6, there is a checkmate in one. F7. Checkmate. Bishop to g7 was played. White played the move and black resigned. And the move is... Pawn takes bishop check. Black resigned. One line goes like this. King to f7. Queen to c4. Check. Forcing the king to go to the dark square. King to f8. f takes on g7 check. King takes on g7. Bishop takes queen. Rook takes bishop. 
Queen takes on a4. I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? How many moves did you guess? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.